Welcome to another episode of the Horror Hotel. I firstly want to start off with the sad news that Wes Craven had left this earth. And uh, I'm going to do a special episode about him and talk about his history and the movies he made and what made him so special and why. Uh, today we're going to talk about found footage. So uh, here we go. Today we're going to talk, as I said, about found footage movies, a controversial genre in the horror business uh, and widely discussed if it has a place or not. Uh, first off, I would like to tell you all what a found footage movie is. It's basically a movie usually filmed with a hand cam or any other camera device that later is discovered by some and what you see is basically a recording in the movie about the events that someone else looks, it's, yeah. And that is why they are a bit controversial as well, because they are usually low budget movies, and uh, often they are uh, a director's first movie, or a certain group are uh, focusing on doing these kind of movies, and um, I am gonna argue that they actually have a place, and they are not as bad as everyone uh, speaks about them. I mean, of course there are, as in any uh, genre of uh, movies, there are bad movies. And the found footage movies has a pretty big stinking pile of movies that is absolute shit. I mean, often they like grab a camera, have a shitty story, and have some mediocre actors, and they do a movie that absolutely tells you fucking nothing. Uh, usually they try to portray some kind of legend, some kind of witch legend, or ghost legend, or anything like that. But there are really good movies in this genre as well. Uh, the recently released uh, As Above, So Below is a pretty good example of what you can actually do with some actual uh, budget and stuff like that. And we also have... The Rex series, Evidence, the VHS series, uh, the Poughkeepsie Tapes, we have The Bay is a movie I kind of liked. I also like the movie Home Movie. Uh, we have more famous ones like Paranormal Activity and Cloverfield as well in the genre. And of course, The Blair Witch Project. What I want to say with all of this is that not every found footage movie out there is absolute garbage i mean i think there's a lot uh, of unfair bashing to them because the movies that actually uh, contain something that, that that we like that is scary that actually shows something off like uh, uh, deborah logan uh, they usually get bashed as one of the shitty ones like the house october build which was a uh, highly mediocre movie that I got really tired of. It has some eerie scenes, but other than that, it kind of falls flat. And there's a lot of um, found footage movies that <laughs> that falls flat, let me tell you that. But I don't see why we don't, you know, really look and push up the ones that are actually good. I mean, because you have a pretty decent medium working with uh, found footage and you have a pretty good start to get a really scary story out there about regular people filming with their cameras and uh, you know shit happens but I, but i always feel when it comes to the mediocre ones that they always miss something uh, with it Firstly, they never show anything or anything like that, and usually the writing is piss poor, especially when it comes to the fact why are they holding the camera all the time. Most movies that are good have an explanation for that. Either, either the cameras are mounted or they have a reason to film. But in other movies, it's like, dude, why don't you just throw the fucking camera away and start running, you know? Why don't you do that? No, no, because, yeah, he if he does that, the movie would end. And uh, we can't do that. And I would suggest that that is, that is a case of poor writing, not a bad genre. And um, if people that make movies just realize that good writing can, can save you, 
and maybe think about the logical flaws that your movie has in its in its writing. I mean, we have let's say we, we let's let's talk paranormal activity. That's a, that's a movie everybody knows about. And why does that work? Well, there's there's a lot of reasons for it. For first of all, no one is holding the camera. The cameras are mounted in the house, which gives us a reason for this to be recorded. Uh, second of all, it got a nice build-up, you know, it starts with small poltergeist activity, you think it's a ghost, but you know, and then things uh, develop from there. It's a very effective kind of uh, uh, movie in that way, and maybe other uh, found footage uh, creators should look at that and see what makes that movie so great compared to the other ones. I mean, there is always ways to write in why a person holds a camera, like using GoPros, or that they are looking for something and need to film it all, or stuff like that. But usually what fan footage lacks of is, is, is good writing. Because I think the medium is perfect for a horror movie. I absolutely love that kind of scenery if it's just done well. And uh, hopefully we're gonna see more uh, high budget movies uh, focusing on uh, found footage as well so we can get some uh, actually decent decent movies out of this. You have like As Above So Below, which I mentioned earlier, which is a really good movie uh, in my opinion, and it uh, it has good actors, it has a good story to it, a fun story, uh, a little bit more interesting than, you know, a local witch legend in a forest in the USA, and uh, yeah, I re I'm really looking forward for more fan footage, uh, despite what everyone else says, I just hope the genre picks up a bit and actually produces good movies, or at least decent movies, because there is a pitch black hole in which you usually trip into that is the found footage genre where, wow, there there are some bad pieces out there. So yeah, I, I can't even, I can't even name any one of the bad ones because I don't remember them. And I, I, I just, I, yeah, this movie was shit, so I just put it aside forgets about it but there is some of them are on are on Netflix uh, because that's that's the only way they they get money <laughs> I guess no but but I really think there is something here that can be used for really good movies and I really really hope uh, 2016 will show a little more promise in that as 2015 has actually given us a couple of of good found footage movies. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this episode. I will see you next time. And until that, here's a cat. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. I'll see you around. <laughs>